Justin McIntyre here, standing with, no offense to the rest of your team, but clearly the best hair on your Seattle <laughs> Seawolves, Billy Tolutau. Now, tell me what it's like to be the defending MLR champions coming back for this season. Oh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. Uh, we got targets on our back, but uh, we always got to look forward and uh, play on. So we got to see what's uh what's ahead of us and uh, expect the unexpected. Yeah, the 2018 MLR champions. Now it's good to be the hunted sometimes and not yeah. the hunters. What does that do for your competitive edge? Uh, we're all in, we just have to stick to our game plan and just fight forward. That's, uh, that's about it, yeah. What is your game plan? Uh, you know, I've spoken to some of your teammates. Eric Duchel talked about the culture here. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, it's good, uh, we have a bunch of people from all over. We got Australia, New Zealand, South Africa. Uh, and the culture that they bring in, we kind of build up our own culture. So from that, we have to work on and just uh, go ahead from there. That seems to be something that separates rugby from a lot of other sports, the international mm -hmm. appeal. And so how do you build and how do you draw upon each other with that? So we just pick off like the best uh, ethics that we think uh, would work out with our teammates. And again, going back to culture, we just build off from there. And uh, we just kind of build a culture of our own and just call it the Sea Wolves. And that's uh, our family from now on. And just continue on. Yeah. And you certainly built something in a strong sports city like Seattle. Mm -hmm. I see this place packed every single weekend. Standing room only for yeah. your first match. I'm, I'm not sure if those are even available now. <laughs> Why do you think that the city has gravitated towards this team so well? Um, I don't know. It's because the sport is starting off from the youth. Uh, uh, pretty much is this is because of them that we do it for. And uh, uh, it's basically uh, standing room only. Even the people who are sitting down is still standing, and the game is exciting to watch. So we try to bring that up, hype again and b get more people out on the field and to watch more games and some exciting hits and tries for them. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I say full stadium, but not too many butts in seats. Yeah. The crowd is into this the entire time. What's it like to take the pitch in that atmosphere? Oh, it's great, you know, but uh, it, it kind of uh, trying to reflect to those that's uh, playing overseas as well in other professional leagues, and it kind of builds that environment that, that we have to get up to. So, yeah, mm -hmm. but it excites us as players as well. And uh, from there, we just get that hype and that fire in us to just keep on going on for the fans. Yeah, and for, for those that don't know it, this is only the second year, the second season yeah. for Major League Rugby here in America. What do you think the success of this entails going forward? I feel like it's going to be a great uh, from seven to nine teams this year, and we got adding more for next year. It's going to be good, and uh, hopefully we'll build up and uh, probably be as big as NFL, and maybe we'll get a bigger stadium for people to come out more people come out and watch, yeah. Now, for those, rugby hasn't been in this area for too long, outside of club teams that are around, not too much right. professional that we just talked about. So let's go inside the sport a little bit. Tell people who haven't watched or only know a cursory amount of knowledge what the sport is like and why it's so exciting. Uh, it's exciting because uh, we also have big hits here and there, but uh, also, it's uh, believe it or not, uh, we have less concussion than football because they depend on their helmet as well. But as us, we, we uh, focus on more uh, technical stuff. So we try to uh, tackle that down. And, and uh, it's more exciting because uh, the only way that stops the game is penalties here and there. So it's, the game is always ongoing for 80 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly is. And I know Pete Carroll, right down the road, has actually employed some rugby techniques with the new rules in right. the NFL. So that's a nod to your guys and your safety technique. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, everybody get down here to Starfire <laughs> Stadium. Season kicks off Sunday, January 27th. It's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, we'll be here to cheer on the Seawolves. Thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs>